We're going inside the investigation, a look at the evidence against former Governor Rick Snyder in the Flint water crisis. We're glad you're with us tonight at 6. The former governor's legal team is preparing to defend him against two misdemeanor charges of willful neglect of duty. Now, prosecutors would not say what the investigation uncovered, but our consumer investigator Hank Winchester did some digging today. He's live now with what evidence we'll see in court. Hank. And Karen, Devin, good evening to both of you. You know, a lot of the investigative work was done here right behind me inside the Wade County building uh, where Kim Worthy uh, was helping control this investigation. But what investigators were looking at? Well, it involves a lot of communication going between the cities of Flint and Lansing. The case against former Governor Rick Snyder is now focused on three things, we're told. Witness interviews, phone records, and emails. The investigative team went through thousands of documents, searching computers, iPads, and phones, working to establish a key timeline. What did the governor know, and when did he know it? Getting the digital text message, telephone, email, any of that type of digital communication is vital in present modern day investigations. That's how people communicate. That's how they communicate about important events. We're told the former investigative team headed by Todd Flood was also closing in on the governor. And while some debate whether he would have been charged, those close to the case say charges were on the way. Right before Attorney General Dana Nessel moved in and took over the investigation. However, it's unclear what charges the governor may have faced then. Yesterday, Prosecutor Kim Worthy wouldn't reveal details of the investigation, but made it clear she feels the case against Snyder is solid. As the evidence comes out, it would be plain for everybody to see why, in fact, charges were absolutely necessary in this case. There are a few timelines and phone records that emails would help explain and reveal. When did the governor know the water was an issue? And when did he realize it was a public health emergency? Some point to the Legionnaire's outbreak as being key. He testified under oath about a date when he says he learned or knew or became aware of a problem. And now the investigators are going to look at other evidence that shows that Governor Schneider apparently wasn't telling the truth. Back out here live, that testimony in front of Congress is key because he revealed information under oath, and now investigators will be looking at those emails and putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Uh, the former governor is expected back in court sometime next week. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, back to you. Yeah, Hank, that timeline is really critical. Any reaction, by the way, today from Snyder's legal team? And Karen, not today, but yesterday the statement that was released uh, was very clear. They believe that these charges are completely bogus and uh, the former governor and his legal team look forward to the day in court. Back to you. All right. We know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Hank.